Turn now to new military tensions between the U.S., China, and Russia, with the U.S. Navy sending destroyers to the coast of Alaska last week after nearly a dozen Russian and Chinese warships were spotted patrolling nearby international waters, very nearby. Weijia Zhang is at the White House for us with more on what all this means. Weijia, good morning. Good morning to you, Tony. Good morning to everybody. Alaska Senator Dan Sullivan called the size of the Chinese and Russian joint operation unprecedented. He says the U.S. deployed four Navy destroyer ships near the Aleutian Islands in response to those 11 Chinese and Russian warships near U.S. waters. The U.S. Northern Command says the Chinese and Russian patrol remained in international waters and wasn't considered a threat. But the show of force is a reminder of the cooperation of Chinese and Russian militaries, as well as how close the countries are to Alaska. A similar joint exercise took place last year in September. The U.S. Coast Guard encountered seven Chinese and Russian ships near Alaska, all in a single formation. Now, China and Russia have increased their ties amid tensions with the U.S. over Taiwan and Ukraine, making situations like this more alarming. In a statement to other media outlets, the Chinese embassy said this patrol was part of an annual cooperation plan and has nothing to do with the current international and regional situations. Nate. Weijia, thank you.